Hello guys, welcome to Chow Time with Sammy Larson and the best sous chef Peter Pan. If you're new to our channel, what we do on Chow Time with Sammy Larson and Peter Pan is we take all your favorite recipes and we make them dog safe. We call them shareables, so you can share them with the whole family. And when I say the whole family, I mean the doggies too, because they are part of the family. If you know us, Peter has seizures and a heart condition, so I make our recipes for dogs with seizures and heart condition, but they're good for every single dog and people. So stay tuned today, we got something special for you. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, so today is our 16th episode. I can't even believe it, can you peek? Nothing says celebration like a turkey meatloaf, right? I mean, seriously, it doesn't, turkey just means happiness and love and celebration. So we're gonna make this awesome turkey meatloaf with apples and oats. What? Did she say apples and oats in her turkey meatloaf? Yes, I did. Because Peter loves the turkey. It's good for his seizures. It's easily digestible. And you know what else helps him digest it real well? Apples. And you know what they say? An apple a day keeps the vet away. So I have this great, great recipe. You guys are gonna love it. It's a total spin on turkey meatloaf. It makes it sweet, it makes it delicious. You guys are gonna be so excited. So stay tuned and watch this magic happen. And when I say magic, I mean a lot of magic. Just wait. Hey guys, we're back. So for our celebration turkey apple oat meatloaf, <laughs> These are our fun suspects. So, you can't make a turkey meatloaf without the ground turkey. I did get 97% lean because that's what the vet said was good for Peter. And we always listen to our awesome vet. Now, well, let's start with the apples. These are awesome apples. Whoop, see? They're pink ladies. <laughs> I almost blocked myself. They're pink ladies. Oh, they're lovely. And they're nice and juicy and crispy and sweet. So they really go good with the turkey, kind of think Thanksgiving, you know? And all I did was grate them in this little guy. <laughs> I just grated them. It. it was super easy. You take the pits out and the core and um, the stem and it comes up like this. And I did take some of the skin off just to make it really soft and juicy and sweet. Oh, ha ha. I use a whole cup of oats because oats are good for you, they're happy. Basically, I swapped out the breadcrumbs and added oats. This is super, super healthy. Meatloaf, see these oats? I just use regular old old-fashioned oats. They're so friendly and happy. I never met an oat that was in a bad mood. Did you pee? No, oats are always happy. Sage, little bit of sage. Doggies can have a little bit of sage. And that really kind of makes it smell celebratory and like Thanksgiving because you have the apple and the sage and the turkey. Then we put a little cinnamon in because it enhances everything and kind of gives it like a sweet, but yet just delicious. Really brings out the flavors of everything. And we're going to top it with a little bit of organic ketchup with no sugar added. Organic, doggies can have a little, just to kind of keep it a little bit traditional. And no um, meatloaf is good without an egg. It just ain't happening without an egg. An egg is going to keep it together. And the Baileys, of course, the Baileys is gonna go on. I'm about to have some right now. Whoop. What do you think, Pete? Is it time for Baileys? Yeah, this is what keeps Peter seizures away. Mmm. I can't get enough of this stuff. Yeah, I double dipped, because it's ours. <laughs> and it's just me and Peter having it. Well, no one cares. So come right back and I'm going to assemble this and make so much magic. You guys are gonna, oh my God, you're not gonna believe it. So come right back. So I just got my little pan here. This is a meatloaf pan, but you can put it in any kind of pan that makes you happy. You want this turkey meatloaf to make you happy, your dog's happy, and no one's telling us what to do and how to do it. I'm just showing you how I did mine. And I used this guy, but you can use any kind of pan. Uh, and I did line it with a switcheroo of our favorite oil, coconut oil, because it won't stick and it's gonna add a nice smell and a nice flavor. 
So first, I'm going to put in the wet. I don't know really why you put in the wet, it just makes it easier. Whoop! My little egg, I'm going to add in this little apple. See, this was two medium apples and a little bit of the juice. Add in a squish. Whoop. Now, of course, you can add in more cinnamon because cinnamon is delicious. A little bit of the sage. Whoop. Get in there, sage. Sometimes sage is shy. I don't know why. He's a little shy, but we got him in there. Our happy-go-lucky oats. You know what? I'm going to give it a little smart smushy and then add the oats. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it just kind of going crazy in there. See? I like to use my hands as a mixer. It's really fun. So apples are really, really good for dogs and humans because apples have this stuff called pectin. And pectin is a soluble fiber. It means it's really good for you and it just kind of clears you out in a good way and it's super healthy. And then turkey is so easily digestible. It's filled with lots of vitamins and minerals. It's heavy on the B6. It's heavy on um, the B3, iron and phosphorus and potassium. So that's good for humans and doggies, you know? And oats, of course, that's fiber also. And the little eggy, he's just good for everybody. Stay tuned, I'm going to wash my hands and this guy is gonna go in our pan and then he's gonna go in the oven. So we'll be right back. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back. I'm going to add the rest of our little oats. Uh, gonna get these little oat seeds in here. Now, as you know, Peter gets this. I'm gonna have more. I think it's time. There's a balance. It's time for more CBD. What do you think, Pete? Hmm, it's so good for everything. Right, Pete? CBD, Bailey, it has to be Bailey CBD because it's potent and they always get it checked by a third party to make sure that it's pure and to make sure it's potent. So we really love that and I'll tell you, nothing has helped his seizures like the CBD. So, so here's our can, our happy little can. And remember, I got my toaster oven at 350. You can put it in a regular oven, that's just as easy. Uh, I just like to do it in this kitchen in my toast to show you guys. All right, so this is pretty easy and fun. Boop. You kind of just put them in there. You try not to squish it down too much because you don't want the meat to get all heavy and non-fluffy. You know, the more you kind of beat something, it'll take that air out. And you want this to be fluffy and light and happy because it's the 16th episode turkey celebration there we go see i'm just kind of doing it light like this whoop just to make it a little traditional we're going to put a scotch of roux of this organic no sugar added ketchup oh there we go just a wee little bit it also keeps it from getting dry so there you go i'm gonna smush around this ketchup just a little bit like this whoop all right, now this little fella is going to go in this magical toaster. You guys are going to trip when you come back and see what happens with this magical meatloaf when I put it in here. All right, little meatloaf. Bon voyage. <laughs> bon voyage. See you in a little bit, loafy. Hey, guys, we created some magic up in this kitchen. Oh, my God. So we had this guy cooking at 350 for one hour. You gotta make sure your turkey is cooked. <laughs> gotta make sure your goose is cooked. And it has to have an internal temperature of above 165. That's what is deemed safe because you don't wanna eat uncooked turkey or any uncooked uh, meats. Well, some people do, but we don't. <laughs> and Peter does not. So I made sure with my little temperature that it was over 165. I like to do my meatloaf to about 185 and watch what happened. Now I did let it cool down so I could show you guys. Oh, what happened? What happened? It shrunk it. Oh my God. 
Now that's magic. Oh, no, I'm kidding. You know what I did? I pre-cooked this guy so that I can show you what to do when it comes out right away. So this is cooled down. This is from my rice cooker and I use them all the time. And if anything sticks a little bit, like banana bread, meatloaf, yada, yada, boop, you kind of dislodge it because sometimes these little guys like to stay in their little home. They get attached and they want to stay here. So watch this amazing magic. Oh my God, are you ready? Whoop, oh, ta-da! Oh my God, how cute is that? Look, Pete, oh, yum, look at our turkey meatloaf. He's so cute and sassy. Oh my God, look, oh, it looks so lovely. Let's cut off a little piece, Pete. Whoop, looks perfect to me. Mmm, oh my gosh, it tastes so good. Let's give it a little try, Pete. Oh man, does that smell good? Mmm, mmm, oh my God. It's so good. Mm. I'm not playing. And you know what? It really reminds me of Thanksgiving, like I was saying, with the sage and the cinnamon and the apple. Mmm. Oh my God. This is super yummy, I'm telling you. Peter loves it. You are going to love this. So, if you like what you see, and I know you do because we're always making magic in here, <laughs> subscribe. And you can follow Pete and me on our journey, giving you guys safe, healthy recipes for dogs. And also, I have recipes for all dog ailments. All of them. You can always extend your dog's life with quality. You know, you can't give him if he has some kind of illness, like forever. But you can make the quality of life really good. So, keep watching, keep subscribing, and we are going to give you guys awesome, awesome recipes week after week. See you later. Hey guys, so if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> you can watch me and Pete making fun recipes like this amazing turkey meatloaf. Oh my God, Pete is just dying to get into that. So like, share, subscribe. And if you have recipes that you want us to make dogs safe, just let me know in the comments below. I love your comments and we love doggies, big doggies, small doggies, all doggies. So stay safe, stay healthy, and come on back next time to Chow Time with Sammy Larson and Peter Pan. Oh.